Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your favorite alchemist, the alchemy goddess. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. You are greatly appreciated. This is your daily tea and tarot for Monday, October 4th, 2021. I didn't do Friday, so y'all know I was about to say Friday, right? I know, I know. I wouldn't do Friday. Y'all be all right. Um, energy in the hemisphere is the moon so it's all about setting your positive emotions for the week ahead um it's a good idea to wear white today yeah i didn't wear white today but it's a good idea to wear white today um it's a great idea to um understand what you're feeling try not to be in your feelings and lowering your vibration and feeling sad and low and because it's monday so you know sometimes you know what happens is like because we go through the weekend and so many things happen or don't happen and you know it's like this weekend energy that comes in every week and it's just like it's kind of disruptive and i feel like you know it can set a lot of things off balance for a lot of people going forward because then monday morning they kind of wake up with either a sense of regret or a sense of like being exhausted or you know a sense of feeling um you know like missed opportunities like i feel like the weekends always bring so much shit you know to the forefront and that's why monday's energy being the moon is just like you know you really need to focus on controlling what you're going to put out for the week ahead you know so um i just you know just something that i was thinking about you know is i know for, like it's like you ever hear like people say you know oh yeah i had a really boring weekend but then you get some of those people who are just like girl you don't want to hear about my weekend it was too much going on like that like i feel like a lot of times it's like that like it's so much going on on the weekend that we can't even process it and then monday comes and it's just like all right back to work you know so i just thought about that so i thought i would share it um i spent a lot of times my a lot of time with my children this weekend we went to go see venom saturday sunday i took them out um and we kind of just hung out we didn't do much we just hung out um and that was it just me and my kids we didn't do anything i just i needed to be with them and they needed to be with me and it's just what it is y'all so but just know that the videos will resume today okay so let's go ahead and get started and see what's going on for the twin flames we have karmic partner at the bottom of the deck all right spirit it's monday right <laughs> it's monday and what's at the bottom karmic partner okay so all right, Spirit, what energy is in the hemisphere for the twin flame, for the collective on their twin flame journey, Spirit? What energy is in the hemisphere? Okay, so we have signs, stuck, and numbing, Spirit. Thank you. And we have grief and deception, okay? Bottom of the deck, victim, crossroads, fresh start, divine timing, karmic partner, cycles. Hold on, y'all. What you don't see coming. What don't you see coming? A cycle is coming to an end and a fresh start is beginning. There's a cycle for some of you, you're a karmic situation. So there's an ending coming to your karmic situation. You are entering into a crossroads and I feel like you're going to be going in a new direction. I do feel like there's someone who's just like their hands are tied so they can't really make any changes or they feel like they can't make any changes. Um, for some of you, you are a twin flame and this is a cycle ending for the karmic and your person. Um, with the divine timing and a fresh start card and the crossroads, something tells me that this is a major, major shift. Okay? Divine timing, fresh start, and crossroads. So a lot of things are going to change um, going forward for a lot of you this week, I feel. You know, with that cycles card, that lets me know that there's something that's definitely coming to a complete, you know, and something that's been going on for a long time. Yeah, something that's been going on for a long time. All right, so let's get some clarity out here. So we have the seven of wands. So someone is fighting for something. Spirit, clarify this energy of signs. Oh, wow. The star card reversed Aquarius energy and a page of cups. 
So somebody's getting some signs. It's very clever. The Knight of Swords. They got something to say. Yeah, I, with the Page of Cups, I already knew it was a message. But then the Knight of Swords is a definite message. So we're clarify this energy of signs. The World card. The Death card. There's an ending coming. Major ending. Someone's getting a lot of signs about something. And I feel like somebody acts is, has acted too hastily. Someone's not really sure how to deliver the message. The Five of Swords in reverse. Somebody's been playing games and they're like they're not playing games anymore. Like I feel like the games are over. Like someone was playing a lot of games with you, but the games are over now. And I kind of feel like the person playing the games is not the one that ended the games. I feel like the person who was getting played is the one that's ending. Scorpio energy here. Aquarius energy here. Somebody's moving forward with someone else. They're ending a cycle, but starting a new cycle. I feel like they're following the signs. They're listening to the signs. There's some deep healing or some patience that is needed. And I feel like somebody's done playing games. But there's but with the death card here, like I said, it's Scorpio energy. But it's also feeling like an ending. A painful one that brings a lot of change. And see, with the Page of Cups and with the Knight of Swords, I feel like someone has something to share with you about their feelings for you. And I think what I'm getting is like this Knight of Swords is they did something that they're ashamed of. They acted very hastily, you know, and they're ashamed of it. And I feel like they've been kind of playing with your mind, for trying to control the situation, and they're giving up. So we're clarify this energy of stuck. So we're please clarify this energy of stuck. No, too many cards. The first one is the Eight of Cups reversed. We're clarify this stuck energy. The Empress reversed. The Knight of Cups reversed. The Queen of Cups reverse. And the Chariot reverse. We got Cancer energy as well. Two of Coins. Um, somebody's been juggling multiple people here. I just, I don't know why I feel that way, why I've been feeling that way a lot lately. But I feel like they, they're, they're not about to, like, they're not walking away from something but they're walking away from someplace else. Like there's this Empress in return is like the Empress in reverse is like um, an unwanted, an unwanted situation that's not growing. It could be a baby, you know, but with the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Cups in reverse, like somebody does not know how to tell you, like they don't know how to tell you that they can't move forward with you. They're stuck now. Like they got themselves caught up in a situation and they cannot move forward. The Eight of Cups reverse, the Empress reverse, the Knight of Cups reverse, the Queen of Cups reverse, and the Chariot reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, right? Like this energy is just like, I don't know how to tell you this. I don't know. Like this is going to hurt you. Like, you know, and, and I feel like you're very sweet. You're very kind and sensitive. And this person feels like they're like, th there could be no forward movement here. There's nothing going forward because of this. Like they planted their seed in the wrong place. They planted it and they're stuck. See what I mean? Like there's a karmic situation that's coming to an end here. And the karmic situation may have to do with the fact that maybe the twin got pregnant or maybe the um child. Spirit, clarify this energy of numbing. Spirit, please clarify this energy of numbing. The eight of coins. Spirit, clarify this energy of numbing. The two of wands. This energy of numbing. The knight of cups. I'm sorry, the king of cups. Clarify this energy of numbing. The fool and the emperor reverse. Yeah. Ooh. Bottom of the deck is a ten of wands. Somebody see, see, here's the thing. Like, this is a heavy burden. And someone's been holding it for a long time. Like, somebody's been carrying this weight for a while. Like, it's either the weight of somebody being pregnant or the fact that they just invested in the wrong place and it's nothing happening there. For everybody, it's not a pregnancy, okay? For some of y'all, it's just the fact that they invested in someone else and it ain't going nowhere. 
You know what I'm saying? And I feel like they just kind of feel stuck where they are. And I'm also getting with this, you know, King of Cups, there's a lot of loyalty here, which is so weird. You know, it's a strong sense of loyalty. But someone is just like, 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 it's almost like they've been numbing this feeling, right? And they don't know how to tell you that they're going to be a father or they're going to be a mom or whatever. But there's a new beginning and they're so scared. They're so fearful of where it's going to lead to. But they, 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 but they're taking that leap of faith because their loyalty is like, it's like they're, they've, they're extremely loyal. And I feel like with this crossroads energy with the two of wands, there is something and someone they are leaving behind to move forward. It's like, they want to work on something. Like they want to build something with somebody. They want to, they want to perfect this. They want to work together. But I fear like. There's a sense of where they, they can't really give any type of, like, see, the emperor and the empress are both reversed. It's like, okay, maybe, like, they took on too much burden. They took on too many too much responsibility. Mm. We're going to have to, we have to get the um, rest of that and extend it. Spirit, clarify this grief energy. We'll go further and clarify that and extend it, y'all. Spirit, clarify this grief energy. The tower in reverse. Someone's been very worried about, about opening in this Ace of Wands. They've been very, very worried about this. Spirit, clarify this energy of grief. The Two of Swords has been very indecisive. Three of Wands, because they have to leave something behind. And they don't want to. Nine of Cups in reverse. But it's like... And the Nine of Wands in reverse. It's like someone's tired of fighting. Someone doesn't want to fight for this anymore. Like, I don't want to fight for this anymore. I'm tired of fighting. And, like, they want a new beginning. They've been not knowing how to walk away from something. Not ready to walk away. Not ready to turn their back. But the Nine of Cups is just like, it's not enough. Either they're not giving you enough or they're not getting enough. Whatever, whoever, you know, just take it as it resonates and flip it if it needs to be flipped, you know? It's just, it, it's just, it's giving me this strong feeling that somebody is just very indecisive because they're not sure if you're enough. They're not sure if you're enough. And I feel like they've already fucked up. Like they've already fucked up another situation and they just don't know. The passion is strong. They want to see where it's going to go with you, but they're just not sure. That's so weird. Like, this energy is like, I don't know. So, like I said, like, sometimes it could be like, this could be for, like, a certain group of people. This could be for a certain group of people. This could be for a certain group of people. So, take it as it resonates. Spirit, so clarify this energy of the session for my, for the collective on their twin flame journey. Please clarify. Ten of cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody, somebody did. Somebody's not happy. So you're clarify this energy of the session. My ears started ringing as soon as that came out. Seven of swords. Somebody lied. So you're clarify this energy of deception. The six of wands. So you're clarify this energy of deception. The higher the the hanged man. So you're clarify this energy of deception. The sun card. And the five of wands. Someone's been very conflicted about telling you the truth, about telling someone the truth, about not being happy, about lying, keeping secrets, about children. I swear that Ten of Cups feels like kids, y'all. I swear the Ten of Cups, Emperor, the Empress, I feel babies, y'all. Somebody got to make pregnant. They feel like you won't support this. I mean, well, hell no. If you got somebody else pregnant or if you got, if you're pregnant by somebody else, why would I support that? And they've been trying to figure out how to tell you this, how to, you know, because you are just none, you are, what's the word, what's the phrase? You are not knowledgeable in this at all. You are none the wiser, okay? And I feel like you're this person's sunshine. Like something just tells me that this person lied. Big time. Mm. And, I, and the crazy part is you do make them very happy. You do make them very, very happy. Five of Wands, though, this person's are very conflicted. Nine of Swords, they can't sleep at night. Eight of Swords has been fucking with them. Three of Cups reversed. Ooh, child. Who? Who? Like an owl. The Knight of Coins. 
the Ten of Swords reversed, y'all. The Three of Cups reversed. The Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Five of Wands. This person has been very conflicted. Very conflicted between you and someone else. Very. But they can't sleep at night because they lied to you. Eight of, it got the Eight, the Nine, and the Ten of Swords. The Eight, the Nine, and Ten. They literally manifested the worst possible outcome of this, and now they regret it. They acted on it. And they know that it's going to end between you and them, and it hurts. They cheated. Three of Cups in reverse. Seven of Swords. Ten of Cups reverse. Ten of Swords in reverse. This person cheated. Five of Wands, they cheated. This is cheating energy all day. All day. And it was, and not, they didn't just cheat, though. They cheated with somebody who was jealous of you and them. They cheated with somebody who was jealous of you and them. They didn't just cheat with somebody. They cheated with somebody. Look at that. That's the Page of Swords reverse and the Two of Cups reverse. They cheated with someone who was jealous of you two. Mm. chill y'all we're gonna take this over to the extended version if you haven't um subscribed if you haven't become a member of my patreon goddess tier um please do so otherwise you'll miss this but um yeah if this reading has resonated with you and you would like a more in-depth look into your own personal situation purchase a reading through my website www.alchemygoddess.love that's a-l-k-e-m-y-g-o-d-d-e-s-s dot l-o-v-e there's a two to four week turnaround period and um on all videos so it takes two to four weeks for the link to be delivered to your email okay two to four weeks um but that's it for now um i'm gonna take this over to extend it y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day as always Peace.